Titrations are common ways of determining the unknown concentration of an acid or a base, so today we will be discussing how to properly perform a titration in the lab. A titration is a process of determining the concentration of a dissolved substance in terms of the smallest amount of reagent of known concentration required to bring about a given effect in reaction with a known volume of the test solution. In other words, a solution of known concentration, called the titrant, is added to a solution of unknown concentration, called the analyte solution, in order to discover the concentration of the analyte solution after the equivalence point is observed. So in order to find the concentration of the analyte solution by titrating, it is important to know the concentration of the titrant and also to find the volume of the titrant delivered during the titration. Before each titration, it is important to prime the burette, meaning to rinse it three times with both water and the titrant solution. In this tutorial, three titrations will be performed, each titrating a solution of sodium hydroxide with a KHP solution. After priming the burette, Allison observes the initial volume of sodium hydroxide in the burette, which appears to be 3.39 milliliters. The volume of sodium hydroxide is read by reading from the bottom of the curved upper surface of the liquid, called the meniscus. Allison performs the titration by adding the solution of sodium hydroxide to the solution of KHP while swirling the reaction vessel until the phenolphthalein indicator in solution turns pink, indicating the equivalence point has been reached. The pink color observed should be faint. If it is too dark, the equivalence point may have already been passed. Allison observes the final volume of sodium hydroxide solution to be 37.51 milliliters. Both the initial and final volumes of sodium hydroxide are recorded in the lab notebook. Gina begins the next titration by priming the burette and reading the initial volume of sodium hydroxide to be 6.42 milliliters. After performing the titration in the same manner as Allison, and reaching the equivalence point, Gina records the final volume of sodium hydroxide to be 33.08 milliliters. After once again priming the burette, Ryan begins the third titration. He observes the initial volume of sodium hydroxide in the burette to be 5.79 milliliters. After performing the titration in a similar manner to Allison and Gina by adding base to the reaction vessel and swirling the reaction vessel, the equivalence point is reached. After the equivalence point is observed, Ryan records the final volume of sodium hydroxide to be 33.65 milliliters. Initial and final volumes of sodium hydroxide for all three trials are recorded in the lab notebook. Moles of the sodium hydroxide solution can be calculated by using the molar ratio in the chemical equation. Then, using the moles and total volume, molarity can be found for the sodium hydroxide. 